She's a hoe. Okay, in ho plus me equals home. You do it. Yo guys, what is going on? It's Hidan and welcome back to another video. Guys, I found <laughs> this guy who is basically the perfect content creator for single ladies age 40 plus. Yeah, <laughs> you've seen from the intro already how he says ho plus me equals home. We building over here, we whatever. Now, ho plus whatever equals a broken family, a broken relationship, a broken future. So don't go with that crap, please. Uh, pretty embarrassing. Uh, you cannot make anything work like that. But yeah, you seem really empowering and motivational to a lot of single women who cannot secure a commitment. With that being said, guys, let's check some other TikToks that he made because they're quite interesting. The families have already said that the Netflix series Dahmer has re-traumatized them. So I think we need to acknowledge that you watching it goes way beyond. I like true crime because it's informative. Admit that the trauma of others is entertainment to you and go. The <laughs> this is so absurd, I cannot even start. Admit that the trauma of others is entertainment to you and go. What the hell? I don't know, guys, if you're familiar with the Netflix series Dama. I haven't watched it. I don't watch Netflix at all. I know. I just don't Netflix and chill, but I'm pretty familiar with Jeff Dama. I highly recommend you, if you don't know who that is, um, check a documentary about him on YouTube or whatever, because his case is quite interesting. You know, he did a lot of really bad things, a lot of messed up things. Um, he is one of the most prominent serial killers in the USA and at the end of the life uh, at the end of his life you know people are really debating if he actually repented for his sins or if he didn't it's a really interesting story and I highly recommend you look it up but well you know this guy is making the argument that because Netflix released a series on Dama and some people didn't like it you are you know <laughs> You are happy and you feel joy because of the trauma of other people. Man, what the hell are you talking about? It is a real story, you see. We have movies like Jigsaw or like Final Destination where, where it's a bloodbath, it's gore, and nobody has a problem with that. Everyone looks at it and is like, haha, uh, 40 people died. But when we have a real story about something that happened in real life, we must get butthurt about it, right? Like, oh, I'm a special snowflake. I don't want people to die. I don't want to see that. Well, you are, <laughs> you are born in the wrong planet if you don't want to see that. And hey, if you don't want to see it, just don't watch the series. You know, it's that easy. But don't go out here saying that everybody who, who watches it and who feels interested to watch this series is feeling happy because of the trauma of others. What the hell, man? What the hell? Let's check another video of his. Let's make a deal. If we're both single women 40, we'll meet up together in a neutral area and hunt each other for a sport. <laughs> you can see all the 40-year-old women, you know, drinking wine and, you know, with their cats listening to this and they'll be like, Oh, yeah, whoa, so great. Somebody loves me. <laughs> Ah, uh, guys. <laughs> what even is this channel? For real. We're gonna meet up when we're 40? Like, <sighs> man, this. You can see all the women, you know, reaffirming themselves. Like, yeah, I am still young. I can still secure commitment at 40 years' age, even though I've wasted all my life on Chad. But see, this guy will date me. This guy will run after me, to hunt me, to, you know, be the Prince Charming I've been waiting all my life. Clown stuff. Clown stuff, really. 
Let's check this other video. Nations. Everyone in England is distracted. It's the perfect time to get your stuff back from the British Museum. It surprises me how you can fit so much bullcrap in just 6 seconds. Okay, so first off, uh, you're talking about Queen Elizabeth, you know, passing away. And you're saying, okay, England is distracted. Go to the museums and get, <laughs> and get your stuff back. You know, so talking about colonialism. Uh, my man, do you realize that every country in this world was conquered by someone, by some nation? Okay, do you realize that? Do you realize that French people didn't exist throughout all history in France? Okay, it was tribes that conquered this land from other people who lived there and killed them and slaughtered them. And they established the, you know, what we know today as the French kingdom. And I think you are from the USA. Uh, do you know USA history? Are you aware that the USA didn't exist sin since the dawn of time? You know, actually some people came and conquered that land. And, you know, <laughs> it's just how things work. Like, all this stuff about uh, colonialism is wrong and it's bad. And I feel like I'm talking with a five-year-old kid. Man, that's the way history has been created, okay? Wars have been shaping the history and the, terri the territory of this planet since the freaking dawn of time, okay? Nobody lives in the same place that his nation lived since the beginning. Every territory on this planet has been conquered and reconquered and re-reconquered a dozen times. So what is this crap of, ah, you, you stole this from my country and now it's in your museum. I'm, I'm just gonna go and take it now that Queen Elizabeth has passed away. What the hell, man? Like, this guy, for real, <laughs> I cannot understand, guys. Leave me down uh, a comment or whatever on what you think because... This video is sort of all over the place. We're talking about serial killers. Uh, we're talking about colonization. We're talking about single woman, 40 years plus. But <laughs> please let me know in the comments what you think about all of this. But I mean, pretty, pretty messed up ideas, this guy over here. The dream guy for all the single ladies who have wasted their young years. But with, with that being said, guys, this will be it for today. A video kind of all over the place. I just found this channel and I thought some of the videos are quite, <laughs> quite interesting. Is maybe not the word I'm looking for, but yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Please let me know down in the comments what you think about my content, about my avatar, about whatever passes through your mind. And I'll see you next time. Peace.